Yeah, I mean, it looks like Fruit Loops. I mean, that's the problem here when you have, you know, obviously the actual product itself doesn't help anything. Is it going to confuse consumers? Therefore, there's a trademark infringement claim. Snoop Dogg cereal has been blocked from using the name Snoop Loops. Okay, so back in <laughs> August, Snoop announced a new marshmallow filled cereal called Snoop Loops, which was produced through his food label, which Snoop runs with Master P. It's also the cereal Jack White had some questions about, unfortunately, according to a group of videos posted to Master P and Snoop's respective Instagrams, the two won't be able to go ahead with the name Snoop Loops. Okay, so in the caption, uh, it just said, we've built a national brand and d disrupted the cereal industry. I love that when you have musicians and artists who are like, we have disrupted the cereal industry. <laughs> and we did it with Such hard rebels. work and integrity. I know they're uncomfortable and scared. End quote. And the pair didn't specify who they were, but obviously we're talking about, you know, Kellogg's and the right. threatening litigation. So you did a little research. Are they still selling the cereal? I went to the website yesterday because he has the he has the Brodus Foods uh, where he also sells like muffin mix and all kinds of different stuff. It's it's actually pretty cool. I really like the artwork, even though, you know, when you look at, you know, the 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 Snoop Loops itself, it, it looks very much like, you know, Fruit Loops as far as just the concept. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Fruit Loops. I mean, that's the problem here when you have, you know, obviously the actual product itself doesn't help anything. But in the, is it, con is it going to confuse consumers? Therefore, there's a trademark infringement claim. Yeah, they're just talking about how, you know, that was their name and stuff and, and they have to change it uh, or they're going to be changing it. And now they're leaving it up to you to help them decide their name. So if you, um, when you go to their website for, you know, the for the Snoop Loops website, snooploops.com, you will see that the, the imagery for the Snoop Loops, they are letting you know that you can now vote for your choice. Okay. Yeah. So if you go to Broadus Foods website, website and that's the that's the company that that's the like snoop's company and that's that's his last name um where you know they sell the the pancake mix grits oatmeal maple syrup um it's like it's mama snoop pancake mix um and then they go what should we name our new cereal let me see how this looks like. yeah so i mean it sounds like they're complying they must have gotten some real threatening cease and desist we will destroy you and everything you've ever built kind of letters that you get from lawyers and in kind, they probably talk to their attorneys and like, we're going to go and F these guys. We are disrupting the cereal industry. And then their attorney was like, no, it's 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 going to be a problem and you don't want to lose a lot of money. And so they decided probably good to heed the attorney's advice. Yeah. So, I mean, this is this is his actual um, website for his food thing and the different products that they have and stuff like that so so before it was the uh snoop loops this is the snoop loops website when you go to it so they still have all this imagery up so i mean it's it's very colorful he has a you know snoop's been really getting to this whole um kids game he has like a kid's show now um he's he's really trying to get into that market those are his characters he has like full-on characters that he like walks around with um very very fun <laughs> kids love kids love the snoop loops um, but yeah, so they have that and they also offer other kind of products, but I think it's interesting when just that, you know, that he's a businessman working again with master P he's, he's always stated before how master P was such a, an influence on his business, making him teaching him how to earn money. And he didn't really start earning money until he linked up with master P. So it's good that, you know, they're still working together, um, doing their thing and that, you know, he's got that entrepreneurial spirit. We're trying to get into things, but he's trying to do it right. So he doesn't get in trouble by Kellogg's. That's right. And that is something that we can learn because Snoop, you know, especially I feel in recent interviews, he's really just talked about his business acumen, you know, and again, you know, I learned so much working with Master P. That was the first time I was being taken advantage of. I wasn't getting paid right. And now obviously he knows how to run himself and run the business. Okay. Um, and so what we can learn from this is that he is heeding counsel to not just do it because then he's dealing with litigation for years and years, millions of dollars and attorney's fees and damages and all these things. Um, so, you know, actually this is another example of him just being a smart businessman.